Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards and see what's in store with a message from spirit. All right, I am going to be out of my office, so I'm recording this on right after on Thursdays because I am busy the next few days in a dance competition. It has been dance competition mania over here, but absolutely love it. Sitting in my joy, and I hope that you are sitting in your joy, finding your joy, finding those pockets. And that was really part of the message yesterday is like reclaiming that power, but also the joy. So, Let's see what the energy is today for Friday. Okay, oh yes, that's right, thank you. So this is what's so interesting. We have a, um, cause, okay, let me back up here. <laughs> All right, the energy when I first tuned in is uh, very bright and colorful and like blooming and opening there's like a freedom and like a an ability to breathe more it's kind of like you know when you're outside in winter and you've got all the layers on and yes it's helpful but you come inside and you take those layers off you're just kind of like ah right it's like that that's the energy that is really whirling around today and i was like oh okay what's that for and they're like well think about what's happening what are the alignments and they reminded me tomorrow April 20th is a really significant alignment between Jupiter and Uranus. And this is an opportunity, this is like, Jupiter is the planet of luck. Jupiter is like this big energy planet, but of like good fortune and abundance and luck and positivity. And it is paired with Uranus and Uranus is like sudden change. So what's really neat is when you have that pairing, there's this this boon is the word that I keep hearing, a boon, meaning like a showering of abundance, goodness, positivity, new directions, alignments that can really, really come into play for many of you today, tomorrow, and the day after. So day before, day of, and day after. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday energy, very significant of this, this boon. So I think that's really neat and I can feel the energy of it like more than, <clears throat> excuse me, more, <clears throat> more than I thought. I've been yelling a little bit too much at the dance competitions. Um, more than I thought. How amazing is this? Okay, let's see what the cards have to share. So I'm going to finish off the week with the Spirit Animal Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed And let's see, Spirit, what cards you can share about this boon okay they're saying too that this boon for some of you might be this like quiet whisper that finally has a voice that allows you to just drop an old narrative like that when it happens when it clicks into place and you're like oh my gosh i never looked at it this way it's something that like almost instantly you're like well of course of course it had to happen that way, or of course that was the lesson. Like it's this quiet whisper that finally comes in and has your attention. For some of you, it might be that way. For others of you, it might be um, shocking or jarring, but in a good way. Like say, um, let's use divine partnerships. Say you've been manifesting your divine partner and you're thinking like, I don't know if this will ever happen, but I just feel it and I follow it and you've been doing this for years. And then, Say you've had visions of what he looks like and da 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 and then all of a sudden, you literally run into that person. And maybe you actually run into them, like, you know when you, like, you're coming around a corner and you run right into them and you look up and it's like, I have seen those eyes. I know this person. And that moment that is shocking and jarring, even though you knew it was coming, potentially, it's a moment that literally changes everything. So a boon, again, there's many ways this can show itself. So let's see what the cards are. I gotta tell you, I'm loving this energy, holy. Wow, okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, ooh, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, Spirit, you're just amazingly beautiful. Okay, um, first card out. Can you see this smile? This is pure joy. I am 
so happy to be able to share this with you. Okay, first card, Dragonfly Spirit. Now this says, truth transcends illusion. Exactly what I just explained, whether it's the quiet whisper that you suddenly hear in that moment of click, like, oh, I understand this whole journey piece that I just went through, or when you finally run into that person or anything in the realm of you know what I mean, right? How truth transcends illusion. You see the truth for something now. These, these understandings, this boon of consciousness is coming through. So dragonfly spirit, really big. And I also want to say, if any of you are seeing dragonflies lately, that's an extra emphasis on this. So really pay attention to the dragonfly animal symbolism for wherever you are as well. The next one, the cow spirit. This says the miracles are endless. This is exactly it. This is where spirit gets to surprise us in some really interesting ways. And for some of you, you may find maybe the anxiety you've been carrying finally just drops away. And you're like, oh. right? This like absolute miracle of just peace. So miracles are abundant in so many different ways, big, small, uh, multiples of two, you may find you have a boon of multiples like things. Again, the universe has so many amazing ways to surprise us. It's really, really significant. Okay. So the cow spirit is here. How amazing is this? Now, what I really love is this boon and this energy here is bringing and bringing in these new beginnings. And what's cool is we have the porcupine spirit, which says time for a beginner mind. This is a new journey and a new path, and one that we do not need to necessarily be so guarded with, like the porcupine having its quills back versus like standing upright. It's like you've journeyed a long way and you have such a consciousness now that it's not about being in defense mode, it's about your discernment, and your discernment is getting so good. So trust in your discernment as you embrace this new beginning, but also embrace like the new learning, the new understandings, the newness, the things you don't know, right? It's not about a new beginning where you know everything. This is a new beginning where you've, you've completed that chapter and you're into the next one now and there's new things to learn and gain and understand, but with the discernment that you already have. And so I like that there's, this is the beginner mind and then it's paired with the swan card, which is time for a deep dive. Right? So the beginner mind is going to bring you into a new, deeper, fruitful, um, very like nourishing journey. But I also want to say it's interesting how I used meeting a divine counterpart. And this year is a big thing about divine counterparts. The swan symbolism also is um, so much a symbol for love. So there is also an emphasis here, an extra emphasis on divine partners, divine counterparts coming into play and a deep dive into that new energy of love, of consciousness, of connection. Something to be said for that. But truth transcends illusion and miracles are abundant for a new beginner's mind and a deep dive into this next phase of your journey. So this is highly transformational. This is really beautiful. So really soak in the energy of this weekend, um, today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Soak in that energy. It's so worth it. And another thing I want to say too, Spirit's reminding me, they're like, anchor yourself in the energy of the 20th because it's so valuable because then we have on the 23rd, on the 23rd we have uh, the moon is in, the full moon is in Scorpio and that Scorpio is like the deep, dark kind of underbelly of things. It's not all bad by any means, but it's the, it's that deep dive kind of energy, right? It's that deep dive energy. But spirit is like deep dive into the boon rather than a deep dive into the darkness. It's not about the darkness for so many of you. Again, watching this kind of stuff, it's not about the darkness now, about trudging through that. It's about understanding what you need to understand and stepping up into your light. That's what this is about. So whatever that looks like for you, um, there is such an abundance coming for you to just, again, clear, align, facilitate your path forward, which really echoes in the, into the collective path forward. So whew, I'll leave that with all of you. I'm feeling super incredibly motivated with that reading for sure. So I hope you feel it too. Thank you so much as always for joining me. And again, I'm hosting Cosmic Consciousness Circle next Wednesday. 
you can sign up at avalonspirit.com and it's going to be about galactics i'm going to be talking about um, our connection into the galactic realm of consciousness who are some of the players out there um, what's going on all of that kind of stuff it's going to be a lot of fun so if you want to join me you can sign up at avalonspirit.com and i would love to see you there all right everyone happy friday i will see you all on monday have a beautiful amazing boonful weekend talk to you soon